What is going on, everyone? We are Whoa. back with the panel slash hey, Marvel Media Podcast. I'm Slash. I'm Pal. We're and here. We are. So, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not. I'm going to pick it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm not going to look at it till the end. Okay. It's going to sit here right in front of me, closed. It is my pick. Oh, you're doing something new, new today. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm mixing it up. <laughs> Keeping eye contact with Ralph. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever this is, will be what we watch next. I'm going to keep that right there where I can't see it. All right. Dear God. It's going to be like <laughs> some 1970 shit. Um, some interesting, cool things. Uh, I quit smoking. That's a thing. Yeah. Congratulations, man. You did it for um, a whole week. I've only wanted to stab three million people. I, I make a better supervillain. At least kill me first, because I don't want to see no, no, the, the world burn. No, no. You gonna let me watch the world burn? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, at least kill me first. I only want to know what you gonna do next. He's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna need you to see this TNT explosion. Like, God, I don't want to see that shit, man. Um, but no. So, uh, we're, we're gonna talk about uh, two things. I'm sure if you've seen the thumbnail, you, you know what we're talking about. Uh, we're covering Iron Man three. Yeah. And we're covering the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. We can rank now, both of them. This episode should have been out last week, but due to my dumb shit, I forgot to release the episode from the week before. We were going to record uh, last week, actually. Yeah, and I said um, you forgot to. Oh, no. But I never released the episode for last week, so uh, we pushed everything back a week. I released that last week for everybody. I was like, oh, okay. And now we're here with this episode. Um, we're going to have something new. But this also does mean we are going to be tiering two things. Two things today. Two things. Uh, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, the only bit of news that we're going to cover, right, talk about right. whatsoever, I don't know anything about. I haven't watched it. Um, but the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 trailer dropped. I did see a picture of what Adam Warlock looks like. I'm not happy, but I'll deal with it. Ha! I mean, <laughs> he look like what he looks like. He don't look anything... Like he's supposed to look like. No. And that's the And I've also got issues with another character, but we're going to talk more about that during the Christmas special. Cause yeah, because that person's in the Christmas special. So. Um, I with, thought it was cool. Hey. With that being said, I haven't seen the trailer. Um, definitely go watch it. Here's the thing. I think for the most part, unless another Spider-Man trailer drops, I'm done watching most trailers. Yeah. that's For shows that already are in... Further series. Because you've already seen the Ant Man, all that, yeah. I'll it. watch the trailers for brand new IPs, like when Wonder Man is about to come out and they release a trailer. I'll watch that to see what right. everything Right. It's going to just happen randomly, too. Right. But I think I'm done watching trailers for things that already have two, three movies in a line and stuff. Like, I don't need to see the Guardians 3 trailer because I'm going to watch the movie. Because, yeah. From the comfort of my own bed. Um, That's what we should have watched a bit of, but that's not the point. <laughs> yeah, I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> yeah, we never make that ever again. Um, Ever. Although I would go see another Morbius. I actually did like Morbius. Well, let me watch that shit. Man. I'm going to like, sneak in my ass, my friend. <laughs> Ask some people. Um, but with that being said, uh, funny thing, by the way, about watching Iron Man 3 and the Christmas special together. Iron Man 3 is set during Christmas time. Yes, it is. Some bitch. Right. So it kind of goes hand in hand. I don't know how that all worked out. Right. They both suck. So. Dang. Wait a minute. I thought you said you like. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I do enjoy Iron Man 3. Because Iron Man 3 was the guilty pleasure. Everybody didn't like it. I thought it was pretty, you know? it was pretty decent. So, again, I, I do have um, our little outline. So, let me, let me, we're going to start with Iron Man 3. That is our traditional... That's the one we picked out of. The one we picked. Okay. Um, Iron Man 3 released May 3rd, 2013. Yeah. Damn. How... Got a 79 critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. A 78... Um, viewer score or whatever the audience score because a lot of people they weren't filming it and I was like, it is, it's the first time I can remember off the top of my head seeing critics and the audience agree for the most part right um, sod you don't really see that but Awfully. but and this is for everybody that thinks Disney's going out Marvel's failing um even this terrible movie that everyone was, was saying was terrible good. I say terrible in quotes by the way because I like it but this terrible movie had a budget of two hundred million, and just in the box office alone yep. made one point two five billion dollars for one of the worst movies in the MCU. Apparently, right. Right. up until Phase Four for most people. 
Well, it's like with and that, then everything sucks. It's like with that but, Kevin Feige said on. It's like the fight you said on She Hulk. He said most movies you're gonna like, and most movies you're not gonna like. It just depends on your cup of tea, because you know I thought Iron Man cool. I thought Iron Man three was pretty decent. I didn't like Iron Man two as much, but three was not bad. Um, we're not gonna go over the entire plot and talk right. about everything that happens at this point. I hope you've seen the movie, but there are some points. Yeah. That I did want to bring up. The first, having nothing to do with this specific movie. Mm. But if you own the DVD mm. or a digital version of the movie on Vudu, right. um, Agent Carter's One Shot, which was their basically oh, yeah. their their promo to see if people would be interested in watching an Agent Carter show. Right. I forgot they had. And then one we shot. did get an Agent Carter show. Right. Right by us, season um, one and two. And it was actually really good. Right. Really, really. Season good. Season one was like fire. What was it eight episodes? Eight well, I was talking about the one shot. Uh, the, the one shot is really, really good. Um, and I was super stoked to watch Agent Carter after watching the one shot, and I did. I've watched all of Agent Carter. It's a good show. It was like what two seasons, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Um, okay. But it got you interested. So that that away of everything, um, I, I wrote down a bunch of points while watching the movie. I made Cat watch the movie with me. Oh. She's already seen it, but right. she was all for I, okay peeping it out again. Hmm. Um. The Mandarin Trevor Slattery issue that was obviously rectified in Shang-Chi. My name's Trevor. <laughs> so many people were mad. I remember that. 2013. Absolutely oh, yeah. livid. Even the, even though, was it a, a DVD exclusive or did they actually... Oh, Hell the it? King, which was a one-shot. It was a one-shot uh, that they put... I thought it was like a post-credit for... Iron, at the end of Iron Man 3. Or was his own little five-minute thing, basically him going to jail and whatnot. Right. Um, him getting broken out of jail. Right, broken out of jail, which we didn't know where he went after that, and then we found out he, oh, he got captured. Right. But, yeah. Um, I was, here's the thing. When I first watched this movie, I had never read an Iron Man comic in my life. When I first watched this yeah. movie... I had just come around to enjoying the idea of Iron Man as a character because of Robert Downer Jr.'s portrayal of Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. I didn't like... I, I've seen Tony Stark in comics. I just never read an Iron Man comic. Right. And I've always thought Tony Stark as a character in the comics, up until within the last year, year and a half, was poorly written. I was wrong. Right. I just read, must have read a couple it. of issues of, that he was involved in that I just didn't like. Yeah, we started reading the issue one, Tales of Suspense. But his yeah. actual story is really well done. Right. And even where I'm at currently in the comics, which I haven't read in a couple months, I'll, I'll eventually get back on it, but uh, we've been really busy at work and I don't have time. Um, all that aside, mm. when I first watched this movie, I didn't care about what everyone was mad about when I first watched it. Because for me, I've always also been one of those people, I always thought the Mandarin was a dumb character. He's this guy that has ten rings, and each ring does its own power, like he's goddamn Captain Planet on it his own. It was just crazy, because it's like, before we even saw Saint, before we even, Phase 4 was even a, even a thought in people's eye, I thought Mandarin was kind of stupid, too. It's like, well, what the hell is he supposed to be? Until I read the comics that he was involved in, and then I realized, I was oh, like, yeah. oh, Mandarin's actually a pretty dope villain. From reading the comics to saint Chi, I said, oh, he's a savage. <laughs> Um, Even in the animated TV show, he's a savage. I will say at least Trevor's character in the movie looked like what Mandarin looks like in the right. comics. Right. And he spoke like most Mostly. 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 Um, obviously, the Mandarin is more of Asian descent, and Trevor Slattery doesn't really look Asian. <laughs> then he finally revealed he's Brit. What, what's that, Australian? British. Uh, British? Okay. He's a, he said, my name is Trevor. Like, uh uh. Mm -mm. He came out out of the bath. As a Quick! <laughs> no hesitation. Tony had the fucking gun in his face. Run. My name is Trevor Slattery. I am just an actor. And then he even said, what's going to happen with this? He put that gun... He put the... <laughs> right on the ah, ah, ah. Um, <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I... But after... After... This is the first time I've watched Iron Man 3 this week, by the way. Mm. Since I had started watching or reading the comics. And it was the first time I actually understood why people were mad. I actually truly understood. Because Mandarin, the people who are die our comics, and they they knew about it, man. Mandarin being Iron Man's biggest villain, and for him to be so mishandled the way that they did. However, I think in the long run, it worked better. Made sense. It right. worked better because you were able to use the Mandarin 
as Shang Chi's father, since they technically and legally cannot use who Shang Chi's father is in the comics. Right. So it all worked itself right. out. Three sixty said, "I went by many names." I said, "Oh, okay. Well, shit." Um, but yeah, at the time, that I, I could definitely understand people's anger. It still doesn't bother me overall, right? Because knowing yes. what I know now in the MCU and the way things have played out, I'm okay with it. Um, it's just at that time, people it, were like raising hell on that. I was like, "Damn." It still would have been cool to see the version of Mandarin what with the see? actual rings on his finger and being able to shoot powers and things like that, as opposed to the the Mandarin that we got, quote unquote, right? Um, who has ten bracelets that he basically uses as whips and shields and stuff. Right. Um, but I still enjoy what they've done. Uh, Tony Stark's development as a character, yeah, is the biggest in this movie in my opinion, than anywhere else in the series in terms of personal development as a character. Because um, he went from hell and back. Jesus. This whole movie is more based around Tony Stark's personal development as a character mm-hmm. than anything else. Yes, he's got um, Adrian Kil- Kil- Kildrich? Yeah, Kil- Kildrich. Kil- is it Kildrich? Kildrich, yeah. Um... He's got him. He's got the extremist enemies. Which that's crazy. Which, are, which you know, and the cause happy. I thought happy died. I did too. The first I was time like, I watched oh, it. Oh shit! Um, Boom. So he does got stuff going on. He's got a relationship with Pepper that's kind of on the rocks because of everything that's happening with, and then the Mandarin situation, people being terror. People basically thought, being then they thought Tony Stark died. <laughs> right. Um, but this movie especially set in the MCU, is more about him developing as a character. This is the movie that allowed him to turn around and go into um, Homecoming and tell Peter, you're nothing if you need the suit. Right. This is the movie that allowed him to say that. And he was not... It, it's weird, because he wasn't in the suit as much compared to all the other times of this time. He was not in the suit. He's that. barely in it at all. Right. Until the very end. Until the very end. It's crazy. Because um, he was fighting the extremist woman literally barehanded. And dealing with severe anxiety and PTSD from, from all Avengers. the fights. Oh, I'm saying, I'm saying, when I first saw it, I thought it was just from the Avengers, but I knew because all the fights, but I was like, just from the Avengers, him taking that fucking thing to the Kree, to the Kree thing, and he was feeling that he had to go in his suit to literally, he was like heavily breathing. He, he I think like, even one time, it almost attacked Pepper, one of the this, Iron Man suits. This was, was this before or after, uh... The first Avengers movie. Was it just the... Is it after... I the, think it was just the first Avengers movie. I don't think Age of Ultron... When, when did Age of Ultron come out? Was it... Oh, shoot. Was it 2015? I thought it was 15. It was 2015. Okay. Okay. I, dang, I know I my years. That. Let's go. Because he was literally feeling... The exact timeline there. Yeah, he's feeling that the pressure of him taking but, that thing. And he thought... Well, because all that. He thought he was going to be trapped in space. Because what if he got trapped in space? That's why he tried to call Pepper that day. But... This was one of the things that I loved that they did with Tony, too, because you look at all these other people that have superpowers, legit superpowers, or are gods. Right. Um, That's when we started knowing about gods and everything out here. And all these other people suffer less with the mental illnesses that comes with being just a regular human being who has to put his life on the line Tony to save just, other people. I don't people. think he was just ready for that and shit. And he wasn't. Mm-mm. Especially when the kid said, she said something that he freaked the freak out. <laughs> he mentioned New York. Oh, yeah, he, okay, he mentioned New York. And then he went, he went right to the East. And Tony was going through some severe anxiety Ooh. attacks, panic he attacks. He was sleeping in his own bed. No, no. Mm-mm. He was having nightmares that almost got Pepper killed. Yep, because it, it, it looks like a safety protocol and... It was good coming back. Insane. I loved watching him deal with that in terms of character development and finally mm-hmm. overcoming that and being able to do what he become who he is. Um, I, I, I broke down in my notes learnings that a hero isn't a hero because of the suit. Which again, he stormed an entire compound of people with gadgets he made that he bought from Home Depot. Made some stuff. Right. He stormed a place with shooting people with tranquilizers that he made. And, and knocking it like the only reason he ended up getting caught up was because somebody snuck up behind him while he was basically interrogating Tra- Trevor. Right. And Other than that, it. he had the whole uh, Office Depot shit going on here. Like he was the whole thing. And his relationship with Pepper, going from being kind of rocky at the beginning because of everything that had happened, um, to yeah, being the person that's like the main focus in his life. 
By well, because when he saw her drop, I said, "Okay, so first of all, Happy died." Because if you, and if you Pepper remember, died. If you remember at the very end of the movie, he explodes all of his suits. Yep. And yeah, he and then he got. I think he did the surgery to get the thing removed too. So he threw that. He can't, no, he threw that bitch in the ocean, didn't it? Mm-hmm. He, go, he never went back after that either. No, he just threw it. Yeah. So he got the surgery to basically to completely separate himself from Iron, which we know he doesn't stack. He doesn't stay away for long. Oh, yeah, but I just I like that concept though, guys, because if it it, it could have ended right there, that if they were not choosing other, other Avengers, it could have ended with him just he's done. I'm like, well, that's it. He's done playing Iron Man. That's that would have been the end for it for or his end game at least. So, and then he had the house party protocol. Oh man, where he brought in all the suits to help fight. Right. And it was and then cool he got that big ass get knocked out from one suit into another. Which right, was really dope. Just, and that whole extremist, and then on a side note, that's when Agents of Shield were doing their thing. Well, that was the next thing I was going to bring up. Extreme, oh, extremist enemies. Um, that was crazy. That's how I miss Agents of Shield, especially during that time. Damn. Extremist was... enemies are both interesting and irritating to me because uh, okay. I, I do like them. I like the idea of them, and again, the crossover that they did with Agents what? of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's what Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was That like, ended up what? not even mattering, apparently. I guess not, but that was when it was cold back then, because that was the best. That's like, what, season two? I was like, dude, what? This um, was cold. But yeah, everything going on with the extremist enemies was really, was, was super interesting, but I also found them to be so weak in the long run. Yes, they almost killed Happy. Yes, them blowing up and creating terrorist things and having crazy stuff happen, like... Taking the present. They were dangerous mm. to normal people. But let's be real. Tony took care of most of them that he ran Bro, into one-on-one pretty easily. he killed that one dude with the... He said, he, he, said, try, out. he said, try to get up from that. Blew his heart out. <laughs> he went, and he wasn't even on the plane. He was controlling it from the boat. Uh, was he? Oh, he was... Fuck, yes, he was. He wasn't even in the armor that he did that with. Ain't that a bitch? He wasn't <laughs> even in it, because as soon as he got hit by the uh, the truck, I said, oh, he's dead too. Roll credit, so we done killed and then, every main person in here. And then you had the vice president who was secretly trying to get the president killed because he wanted to become president. Yeah, because he wanted to so get was, the extremist for his daughter. I said, bro, what's it was happening? wild. Right. I was the like, politicalness what the? aspect behind that. I was like, yo, you can't put um, that shit inside your daughter. I get you want to get the leg back. Because it was him making legs and stuff, but it was at a cost of them going crazy. Right. Now, I do have a couple of issues with the movie. Of course. Personally. Of course. My first is, this is the movie, in my opinion, Pepper's the most irritating. Yeah. Um, Because... She almost refuses to understand what Tony is going through. Yeah. When, when he does, when he's having his nightmare, and the armor suit of armor comes in and grabs Tries her, to grab her, and he wakes up, and s- yeah. shuts it down, shuts it down. She gets mad, right? And I understand you're sleeping on the couch tonight. Maybe like, being what? maybe being worried. But to lose her temper like that after seeing instead of sheltering what him, he was or, just going through, right? Or not shelter, but... So instead of being more understanding... Understand, right. She's just like, fuck you, I'm gonna go sleep on the couch. Right. You just tried to kill me. He didn't try to kill you. He was having a nightmare and the suit and reacted. the suit reacted to it. Right. Reacted so, like, it. that irritated me. Um, And then Tony... Running off of pure emotion. Ooh. Almost getting him and his, his, his woman killed. Yeah. Like, being so pissed off because of what happened to Happy... So you just go online and give away your secret address that nobody knows where you live. I ain't gonna lie though. Hey, hey I know you upset about that, but I thought that was the most gangsterest thing ever. He said, hey, he said my address is this, this, this. I'll leave the door lock unlocked for you. I said, oh, okay, bitch. The, the only problem with it though mm-hmm. is he he put people that can't fight oh, in danger. Oh yeah, because when the, hey they came and blew his house down, I said, oh shit, they actually really did it. it just, <laughs> Um, he had to put uh, pe- Pepper in, a, in the suit because damn, right? Which that was pretty cool how they put that on her like that. That's pretty cool. And but then the last thing that irritates me was the child, the the little kid that was in the movie. No, actually, he reminded me a lot of because uh, I didn't know where the hell he went to. That of, was my irritating. I said, like, "Where the of, fuck?" Like, okay, we just didn't talk about the kid no more. One of the other uh, Christmas movies that I do watch mm-hmm. almost yearly is Batter Santa. I remember Bad Santa. I didn't watch that. Uh, with uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Now, I watched Bad Dur Santa, which is the unrated version of Bad Santa. Right. Um, 
but it, it, the kid in this movie reminds me of the kid in that movie. Mm-hmm. Because they're constantly just bombarding the main character with questions. Yeah, they think I, that, that. I thought that man that would have annoyed you because he was like, "Why are you doing this? What you doing? Why are you no. here?" And I'm like, it, "Oh my god!" It reminded me so much of Bad Santa because there's a part where he's just rambling off questions in yep. Bad Santa, and Billy Bob questions. Thornton finally looks over and goes, "Kid, are you fucking with me?" <laughs> and I lose my shit every time because I'm like, "Oh, that was I, so." I, I was waiting for Tony Stark that to say, mean. "Kid." Please leave me alone. That would so be me. Because he um, admitted to some shit. He had crashed down and shit. He's like, so so you're doing this, you're doing this. I can't come with you? Why would you come with him oh, for? he was so savage to that kid, though. Oh, my God. You're going to leave me here like my dad? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he's like, but I'm cold. And he's like, like I, don't I don't care. care. And then he drops. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I ain't going to lie, though. It was cool watching him come back at the funeral vibe, though. That was, that was pretty... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't know who the hell he was because we haven't used him so you fucking know what's long. funny? You mentioning it is the first time I even understood that he's in it. I never noticed he was even right. There. That bitch was in it. He was like right there, and I was like, and I looked at him. And said, is that the same kid? And I said, like, that is. What the fuck? Yeah, to be eighteen. Eighteen. Wow. Damn. Wow. Okay. Um. So he did help me get a soup when uh he poured that little acid on this shit, and the soup came out. So, at the end of the movie. One of the things that's going on in the, in the entirety of this movie, right, is... You know what's funny? I didn't even look for post credits I don't remember what post credits scenes are. Oh, movie. man. I forgot. Um, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> we did... there, been, there comes a certain point when you get so far in the MCU, post credit scenes no longer matter from old movies because you've already seen what those turn into. Right, they're going to turn I completely into... have forgotten what's in those Damn ones. it. There are certain ones that stick out, but they're never the story-related ones. Like, uh, the one that always sticks out for me is, like, in Homecoming with mm. Captain America teaching people about patience oh. after sitting through, like, 7 to 15 minutes of credits just for him to come up and be like, patience, sometimes it yields nothing. <sighs> you motherfuckers like, got me. Like, watching it through. Um, or, or the cat playing with the fucking Tesseract and Captain America. I Marvel. enjoyed that one, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, the, 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 what's it called, a Flecken? Yeah, Flecken. Mother. <laughs> oh, my God, Mother Flecken. <laughs> um... No shit. I can just watch but, this for that part. <laughs> but at the but you notice that the entire movie, and it's one of the things that I dislike about the movie because I hate when people do this. The entire movie is basically Tony talking to Bruce about everything that happened leading up to that point because he's trying to use Bruce as a therapist. So you know he's going to get out of the situation. Um, but my problem is he very quickly and very passingly. If, for those of you that don't know, Gwyneth Paltrow, who plays Pepper Potts. Mm-hmm. Um, gets injected with the extremists. The extremists. Right. And is actually the one that saves Tony in the end of the movie. She's Bottom the man and bow. She's the one that kills Aldrich. Yep. Aldrich Killian. Right. Um and she does it in one of the most badass fucking ways, right. dude. Smacks this she like shit out. she like like the Iron Man suit comes to like attack her because mm-hmm. she's showing off the heat that all the other villains do. Mm-hmm. She destroys that Iron Man suit, rips out one of its pieces and then, like, kicks it into um, Aldrich's chest and then blasts it with an arm. Like, like she, she, it is so damn cool the way she pulls this off. She's like, <gasps> she's like that was intense. He's like, yep. <laughs> and, then, and then very quickly in passing in the end, you hear Tony go, yeah, I fixed that so she doesn't have to deal with that anymore. <laughs> so we don't even know how he fixed it. It's just right. like, we're going to retcon this out of the story. Right. Because that could have been cool keeping but that then, around. But then you're also going to tell me that she lost any ability to be able to fight, too. Other than when she throws on the suit during, um, what is it, in, in, game. in game, right? To become uh, rescue, I right. think is what her technical right her suit tech, name is. Yeah, suit name is rescue, right? So like, yeah, she puts on the suit. She basically does what Iron Man does, but like, she definitely at this point should be a better fighter than Tony. Right, she was able to take. She was on, doing some wild shit. Take on extremists, like, right? You took on full blown extremists. Is this saying just Alfred Killian's little backstory wasn't that bad too? And, and for me, before I knew how plot to was, I, I I didn't think he was. Well, this movie was also our introduction to AIM in the MCU. Yeah, AIM was some, yeah with the paper. Uh, Advanced Idea Mechanics. Advanced idea and Aldrich Killian is the one that started it. Right, which that's a, kind of a crazy thing. And this thing. is why this is going to be interesting. For those of you that don't know, while it has not been... Te- spoilers for Guardians 3. 3. And then really, he should be an Ant-Man Quantumania, too. It Ant-Man? Maybe it's Ant-Man. That's what I'm saying. Modoc should be yeah. in I'm there. sorry, Ant-Man, not, not Guardians. Right. Um, Ant-Man Quantumania... Uh, they say it's, it's, supposed it's been to be rumored there. he's going to be in it. Funko Pop ruined it by showing the Funko Pop from the movie. And up that's... In it. Um, yeah. Modoc's in it. Yep. 
Because um, he's like the leader of it. He ain't the creator of it, though. No, he's not the creator of it. He was a regular lab person in the comics. Right. Um, who starts fucking with things, becomes Modoc. Uh, d- Which they showed a little bit of in, in the uh, Iron Man series. Like, he was just a regular person... But they just kept, ex- well, I don't know if I changed anything, but it's supposed to be experimenting on him, and that's what caused um, him to get... Now, the guy, that, now. The, the guy that is MODOK in the comics, there's rumor it's not going to be him that becomes MODOK in this show. Um, there's a huge rumor that it's going to be um, Yellow Jacket. Which, I can see that happening. Because um, him folding into himself, going into the Quantum Zone, right? probably meeting up with Kang while he's in there, Kang probably helps him turn himself into MODOK, and I can see that happening. And that's fine. If it, honestly, Modok is such a pointless goddamn character overall. Even though he does crack decent jokes, I, I, I some some of his jokes are clapback. Occasionally, sometimes the jokes be clapback, especially <laughs> issue self destruct sister. Oh, you're talking about the show. That dude with the gun. Yeah. He's trying to. He's like she's pregnant. He's like eh, I just want to shoot myself. He's like don't do it. I missed um, that, and they took that show. I'm so mad at Hulu. That was it, such a good show. Oh man, we were we're never gonna season two. I was so mad too. I so really sad. was so sad. That actually was probably the best thing out of Hulu. Actually, yeah. um, my biggest disappointment. Well, I don't even remember what I was saying now. We oh, sidetracked. No, but from Modok. <laughs> um, oh, some... now Modok is heavily associated with AIM, so AIM might be coming back for Quantum Mania, right? As a as a company. Yeah. Um. Because like, we haven't heard much from him. There were some AIM references in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but again, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. no longer matters. Yeah. Unfortunately. I just read that article about... Ever since... Wa- no, it, here's the thing. First, they said that it said no, ever since WandaVision... Although, Vision, to be fair, right, right. everything happening in Marvel is officially canon. Right, because then it came back like three it, weeks that, later. No, no, that, no, that's not what I'm saying. What? It's the multiverse. All right. Everything's canon now. It's just different the universes. And then, Which is such a lame excuse. Yeah, because then Kevin Feige said that. Yeah. Yeah, because first he, well, no, because first he retconned it and said, after WandaVision, none of it mattered. And then he says, well, since we've got these branches now, I'm like, oh, dear God. Oh, man. So it's, so it's there, but it's not there? Right. <laughs> I'm confused. All right. Thank you, uh, Marvel. So. All right. Ranking this show. Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? I'll go. I, I, I give it, um,. I, I give it a six. Okay. I give it a six. It, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was there. It. It was just there, man. It's like when we see Dark. Well, no, Dark World was just bad. I'm gonna give that bitch a probably four. <laughs> but I'll actually rank Dark World somewhat high. Mm. I love Dark World. Oh well, yeah, I forgot, yeah. But I love that version of Thor. I don't like funny Thor. Thor's not funny. Well, Thor Ragnarok was actually probably the Thor more... Thor Ragnarok's a good movie, but that's not a good Thor. Eh, yeah. He's t- way too comedic. Thor's comedy, especially in the comics, comes off because of how dumb he is in human terms. He's a very smart character. Right. But, like, in the things that he's so literal with saying... If you remember, when we watched Return of the Incredible Hulk... Right. Whoa, the Incredible whoa. Hulk returns. Man. And he's like, uh, I don't like your face. Or whatever it was that he said. I don't remember now. It's been so long since oh, we've watched man. it. Going off side, side check here. Just watching in Thor, in, I'm going to say Thor Ragnarok. And God of War Ragnarok. Like, that is the Thor from the Incredible Hulk. He pushed that motherfucker. He said, I still got it. <laughs> don't want that bitch. I said, like, this right. is what I miss. I miss this Thor. He said, I still got it. <laughs> what the um, Getting drunk and just fighting people. So you're going to give it a six? Yeah, I gave it a six. Um, I am giving Iron Man 3 an eight. Okay, okay. I think... Because that's what branched off this, into... Well, I think this is Tony Stark's most important story of his entirety of the MCU. Right. Most important I'm not going to sit here in front and say it's the best, no. but I think it's his most important because without Tony going through the things he went through in this movie, we probably wouldn't, well we would not have a homecoming. We, we wouldn't, wouldn't have, have had that. the way he the, was in homecoming. No, he probably would have been the same. He wouldn't be who he is in Infinity War. He, he wouldn't be who he is in Endgame. Endgame. She's, this movie is what he did. He wouldn't be like that in Civil War. Actually, <laughs> he's going to do about it. This movie is what molds him as a character the most, right? Out of everything in the MCU now. 
again, not the best in terms of entertainment and fighting and villain dangerousness and stuff like that. Um, but I do think it is his most important story. And it's one of the things, if you're looking at it in the whole of the MCU, mm. it's not a bad movie. If no. you're, if you're watching it, if you were just to pick out this movie like you've never seen anything else and you just pick out this movie, I can 100% understand why people are like, man, this isn't that good. But if you're looking at that as a part of the story of the whole of the MCU, and you don't even have to say the whole MCU, just you say the Infinity just, Saga. You look at the saga. Infinity Saga because that's Infinity. all he's in. Right. Um, it's, it's so important for his character development. Um, so I give it an 8, you give it a 6, that rounds it out to a 7. So, but yeah, I, I can watch. Hell, I'm about watching you when I get off, from, off the podcast. I'm watching you. It, it, it's out there. Ooh. Um, let me bring up. Actually, I didn't even mean to be on this screen. Don't you know what's fucked up? Too bad he had to mug it up at Age of Ultron by trying to make a suit around the world. Like, how you gonna have all this humanity shit in the third movie? That turn around be like, you know what? Let's make a robot. Like, what the? Hell? No, let's let's not do that. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> hey, yo, if you pull that. Yo, that is when we're going to really have some discussions. It's like, okay, how are you going to go for Iron Man 3, this character development, and just say, you know what, let's just build Ultron. Let's just not do that, Tony. Let's, let's not do that. <laughs> um, so, it being rated a 7. What's that like? That's a bad Puts it in a, a, a B. A B? Okay, I know it's a B. With Wakanda Forever, yeah. Spider-Man Far From Home, yeah. Morbius, Spider-Man 3, mm. and Black Widow. The only reason I put Morbius is because that ending was... The ending was okay. The ending was okay. Everything else was a slot. I love that movie. I don't know why, man. I don't not, not I don't love it in like a 9 to 10 range, love. But I think it's a good movie. <laughs> you um, know what, though? Better than fucking Venom. Venom. Much. You know, Venom 1 is starting to grow me a little bit. You know, I can't, I can't stand it. I, I'm, I'm just... All We're right. the prolific protectors. <laughs> so that brings us to the next thing we're here to talk about. The best guy. I text this man. I text him. I said, hey, hey, hey. I want to just keep texting him and wake his ass up. Like, hey, did you catch the new Marvel movie? Okay. Or Marvel so, special? Over the last week and a half or so, they released Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. <laughs> and I hated it. <laughs> so much. It is basically a good tip for me. Let's go. I'm ready for I was ready for it. I'm ready for you all day, man. Okay. <laughs> He's the like, only thing in the entirety of the show that I think is good is the attempted and eventually successful, right, it was successful. kidnapping of Kevin Bacon. The fact that they even did this that whole made it scene funny. was so funny. Started from his house and just migrated into outer space. Like, okay, let's go. They were doing it. Everything else. Which wasn't that much of everything else. Is some of the worst Christmas content I have ever seen in anything. I'm talking about it might be almost as bad as It's a Wonderful Life. Okay? <laughs> My parents love that I, Most old people do. I don't know. I don't it's such get a bad it. movie. I don't get it. I don't. Secret decoders. Get the fuck out of here. Is it? Every time you hear a bell, you think you kids this voice. I want to stab that child. The reason why I hate it is because it is so Christmas. Oh, it, oh, it's the man. So traditional Christmas. Woo, it's, the, it's the whole Christmas. Even to the point where it's they changing. have to mm-hmm. retcon in Mantis being his sister. Yep. So that he can be happy and make it the best Christmas ever. Bro, it started with a with musical somebody. note. <laughs> it started with a Christmas song. Oh, Lord. It was so... And here's the thing. From a famous band that I guess... Werewolf by been. Night, which is was for the Halloween season. Mm, yep. Wasn't based around Halloween. No. It was based just in its own corner of the Marvel Universe where dark shit happens. Right. But for this, this they may, it is very Christmas. Oh, they, they, they pushed that bitch up to a T. They had the smoke, they had the, uh, um, the, 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 the snow shit coming and, down. And they did the other stupid thing that I said. It's another Christmas staple where in the beginning, from, I can see. They from like, one party, God, they out. just know that Yondu hated Christmas, but never heard the end of the story. Oh, yeah. And then just for the end of it, for him to be like, oh, yeah, you know, actually, Yondu, me and him, like, he, he, he ended up liking Christmas. We traded, he didn't actually say it. They showed the, pre, they showed how it happened. He, he's the but one he that gave his blasters. He for Christmas when he gave him that little, uh, whatever, bo- bobblehead that he always had on his dash. Yeah. It, it was, 
I was like, this is so cheesy and so lame and so dumb. And the dumbest thing. Besides Brolic, uh, uh, Grizz. Hold up. The dumbest thing <laughs> of this entire movie. I hate it so much. Is Dude Bro Groot. Uh, yeah, so besides Brolic Groot. I, I can't even call I don't him Brawly because Brawly's a cool character. Yeah, Brawly. Yeah, Brawly's no, a cool No, this is character. Dude Bro Groot. This, this is bra- This is the... the this, this is, the is Do from- You Even Lift Bro Groot. <laughs> this is the dude from She-Hulk. <laughs> bro! Dude! No! He looks... You know who he looks like to me? Did you ever see Fifty First Dates? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen Do it. you remember... Okay, you know the chick that loses her mind, the one that's played by the main lady? Yeah, Drew Barrymore. Her brother, who's always on steroids? Oh! That's who it reminds Sean, Sean, of. Sean Astin. Yeah. I'm just like, this is so bad! And he was a bitch, too. He yeah. looks so stupid! I don't know why they want this design. This design... If if you seen well when you see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, they, it's like they took that design. I don't know why they didn't keep the design from Infinity War. They should have just kept that design and then have it grow into. I guess the group that we saw in two thousand fourteen. But no, it doesn't need to be exactly. No, like it doesn't. I'm not saying it need to be like that. Yeah, no, but, but it I, don't, I don't. Like, like, can you deadlift my weight? Like, what? Happened? He looks so stupid. ignorant. He, he does look stupid. I was, I almost didn't know who that was until I, until I heard their the, words. The moment I seen him, I went, "No, they did not." Because I know who the fuck he was. It's just I am grew. I said, "No, that's not." I even, <laughs> I even said to myself when they, because, because the first time you see him is during that opening song that they're singing. And, yeah. And they're panning through the crowd, and you see him. And the first time they show him, I go, "Please let there be a second group." Please let that be That's somebody what I was thinking. they've never met. I thought it was like another group, but I was like, oh, it's actually Van Diesel. It's a, it's Van Diesel and in it's, a fucking it's it's, it's in a group suit. Okay. Oh lord. And, and I and, and, and is this what you guys wanted? Y'all wanted that? Uh, fans want. I, I want to look that. I wish I could look that up. Like, there are fans, y'all want about this? Guardians three that are now starting to scare me. Yeah, cause they brought that same. Uh, their ugly in them. ass Among Us inspired costumes that they wear. Yeah, at one that looks kind of tacky. Yeah. The, the how bad old dude looks that I mentioned earlier today. Oh, um, now I'm still gonna watch this movie. Chris Pratt, he let himself go. No, no, no. Tell me, am I the only person that at points looked at Dave Batista and went, dude, you gained some weight? We yeah, I saw him in Thor. I saw him in Thor. He did, he stopped caring. I, no, 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 I saw that to my mom. In dad. Thor, I didn't notice like any extra weight. He still kind of looked like. Oh, you know, oh, I noticed it right there. But I there said, was a moment oh. in this where he's wearing a Christmas sweater, and it looks like he's kind of got this roll going on it. And I'm just kind of like, <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong. This is not me making fun of people that gain weight. Or no, no, like it's just. But from where he started in 2014 to where he's at now, well, it's, it's almost been 10 years. I, I know, but, but people can still kill their physique in 10 years. I just, I, I, dude, I seen, seen him and I was just like, like their now, now he was a part of the second funniest thing that happened in this entire thing. And that's when somebody in the oh, crowd man. on earth hmm. goes, it's the God of war. Somebody thought he was Kratos, dude. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, and then he wanted to fight the, uh, one of the transformers. The robot, dude. And he has a whoop in his <laughs> <ass>. <laughs> 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 Um, again, um, the no. whole, the whole hunt and capture. Hey, poor Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. He Bacon said, was hilarious. he said, hey, I'm not in right now. I'm like, bro, we, they can see, and then he busts us through the door. He's like, oh, that's it. And my, I also love, by the way, the conversation with him and uh, them when they do capture him. Oh, like, no, they talk this like, man out. And they're like, they are shit talking. You saved a whole town by dancing. It's like. That wasn't me. It was a character I played in Footloose. And they were just getting like, disappointed. What about that guy that you survived who's trying to kill you at that camp? He's like, oh, no, no, no. He's like, that's another character I played. And he actually died. And they were he's so like, he took disappointed. He's like, it was really cool, though, because like, he took an arrow through the neck. And, that's, and, and it was so funny watching it. They were it. just pissed. And Drax goes, he's an actor. I hate actors. <laughs> and she's like, actors are terrible. <laughs> And then he said, "Normally, I'd be well, pissed." Well, that was that was after she touched him. Yeah, she was like, "You're gonna try and be a hero, but be cool about it." He's like, "You know, normally I'd be pissed, but I seem to be perfectly fine." <laughs> Yo, hey, uh, you can just watch just for that part, just that part, right? If you guys want to watch a good five to ten minutes, just watch like the first ten minutes. Bro, for the time yeah. they were chasing, he was like, Aah! "They're trying to get me." He did the Drax roll that fucking. Put body, he brought the whole uh, police thing up. He rolled it up just... Jax, where are you going? I gotta get the... 
I gotta go get the funny elf man. He said, no, I, he said, but you gotta keep your can because I hold on to it. And I was like, wait, what? And he's like, you got to keep your man. And she's like, anyone can tell it's not a man. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be some shit because when he got to that door and he said, he said, I'm sorry, I'm not in. And the first thing you see is Drax just <laughs> went through the door. I was like, the no. Best. I heard that shit five times. He went, Oh, oh best, my god! The best part of this whole special. Oh shit! That shit had me going, man. Is Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt is barely in it. Yeah. Thank God. And then when he finally got in it, he got so disappointed because because they were doing the Christmas thing, and then here comes Groot, and then you see him move. He went, Oh no! What's? Because he was happy. His what happiness. did you guys do? What do you guys do? He said, "Guys, I can't breathe." <laughs> he said, "Somebody's got to open this box, and I can't breathe in here." Um, Can you imagine this clip? Now there are some interesting things. There are some interesting things that are going to play into the overall MCU. Not yeah. that much. Not yeah, much. no, yeah, because they want to keep it contained as but, much as possible. But some interesting things. Um, first one being, um, somehow, and it was joked about on Twitter. Nebula ended up with um, Winter Soldier's arm. Yeah. And uh, gave it to Rocket because that's what Rocket always wanted. He wanted, if you remember back in Infinity War and Endgame, he wanted Winter Soldier's arm. He's like, can I have it? Was that it? the Wakanda arm or was that the arm that, that he I had? I think it was the original. Okay. Because it doesn't look like, actually, no, I think it was the Wakanda one. Cause it how the, the I got to know how the fuck you the got star. that. I got to know how you got the Wakanda now, arm. Now, James Gunn on Twitter said it is canon wm. that he got drunk and she went down and fought him for it and took it. What? I wouldn't Here's mind seeing thing, that though. shit. James Gunn doesn't say what is canon outside of what's shown on TV, so I don't think that's actually what happened. There's been a lot of funny speculation. James Gunn is just trying to... <laughs> I think she made it. She and made it's it. it's not made of... Vibranium. Vibranium. I think she just made an arm like his so that Rocket... For, for Rocket is a present. Because he said, how much for the arm? Not for, Well, he said, first he said, good. How much for the arm? Not for sale. No, I think he didn't say that. He just walked away from him. <laughs> Another thing, at some point, they've gotten nowhere mm. from the collector. Yeah, because so, that's where they're that's where they're living. Yeah, they're, that's they're, pretty much where the Ravenger base is. is right, it's on in nowhere. nowhere. For those of you that don't remember, nowhere is the celestial head that right. the collector used to live on. And here's the thing: I was talking with somebody. I think it was uh, the guy that sits in front of me at work. Right. That I won't mention his name until you know he eventually shows up on one of these episodes. Right. Um, I was talking with him about it. And we were debating that because he said that uh, it was mentioned in it that they had bought it from the collector. And here's the thing. Because I thought he died. He did not. Remember, he just got thrown to the side. Thanos got what he wanted. He got the stone. I thought it felt like him in the... But oh, well, that was... Because he saw he waved, but then I thought it was just a bloody up like area where the collector was. But I could be wrong. But No, no. He didn't die. Okay. Um, they, huh. they had said that, he, that they had bought it from him. Right. And here's the thing that I want people to understand. First off... The collector isn't one to sell things that are dear to him, so I don't think he cared. Yeah. Reason being, once Thanos found where he was, and in turn everyone else found out where he was because so he of Thanos, left. there's no reason for him to stick around. Thanos <laughs> done took the one, the, the best thing in his collection Which was and destroyed stone. the place. Right. Right. Wrecked just, everything. Just destroyed it. They, like, and in fact, they were still, re, which is weird, they were still rebuilding from that Thanos scourge, so they were so that's a little small little snippet. I don't know if like, you saw it, they're still rebuilding from so the area. He either sold it cheap or traded something for it. What did you think he traded for? That I don't know. I'd have to rewatch it again, and I'm not doing that. Pizza Dog was in, or not Pizza Dog, Space Dog was in there too. Uh, Astro. Astro. Yeah. Um. Oh come on, let's watch it again. Come on. Hey, hey guys, good time on the podcast. I I'm gonna pop that bitch in right I now. I will never probably watch. You ain't never watched that ever watch again. This. Ever, ever again, again. <laughs> a day i remember even chris I mean, pratt, like chris pratt was in an interview and he was like oh yeah he's like this is gonna be one of those christmas movies that people are gonna be able to watch every single year for christmas he had to hype it up man you can't you come, come on come on man. you don't get to hype it up bro listen here terrible excuse of amario yo i ain't gonna lie that made that angered me when he talks, and I saw that new trailer, I'm not going to watch that movie. I'm good. I'll watch it when it's streamable. Yeah, when it's streamable. How about that? I'll do that. And I wanted to see that in theaters. So you see no, I'm good. So that is two people I hate voicing characters in two different movies from the same generation of video games. Mm -hmm. I don't mind Sonic's voice actor. Wow. I don't like Idris Elba as Knuckles. Knuckles. I love Idris Elba. 
No, no, no. Do not get me wrong. His his that, as a character in man. most of his movies that he's in. This that beast movie. I need you like whatever when he fought that lion. I, oh my god. I don't like him voicing Knuckles though. He's got too deep of a voice for Knuckles for me. This is fun. Knuckles what is, this is fun. Knuckles is always been voiced in a surfer. Hey man, how's it going? Right. Like kind of party dude. Even though he's always been way more badass than Sonic way as a fighter. Sh- right. He's a bad. Badass, you got speed. And you I give, I give, I give Ralph a lot of shit. I love Sonic, I always have. I won't watch the movies because I think they're terribly done, in terms of Jim Carrey is not Doctor Robotnik or Mister Eggman, Doctor Eggman, whatever you want to call him. He's been everything. Um, he they didn't make him gain no. They didn't make him gain any weight. He just stayed the same. And I love Jim Carrey again. That's another one of those things. Yeah. Honestly, they should have got Danny DeVito to play it, but that's just me. Right. Um. Anyways, that's a whole different thing. Um, poor excuse for Mario. Uh, I hope nobody watches this fucking movie again. <laughs> Tons no. of people will. What about your kids? Are they gonna watch it? Uh, if they want. It's not with you. It's just not with me. <laughs> um, they still haven't. I don't know. Yeah, they still haven't finished She-Hulk yet. Right. They still got like two or three episodes of She-Hulk. Okay. Um. We did watch all of Wednesday though. Well, they watched all of Wednesday. Wednesday. I is... slept through most of it. You didn't like it? I was tired. Okay, that makes you sense. You gotta remember, I just quit smoking. My body's going through changes because of it. And I ended up crashing. And they watched... You should watch it, though. Like when I want to. I watched, the, I watched the entirety of the first episode and really liked what was on Well, it, it was good. I, I have some complaints. Nothing, like, deal-breaking. Okay. Just minor complaints. Because it was really... It's, it's of, not bad. I need, I, need, I, need, I need that season two. I need them to come on and pop that. Oh, going. it's coming. Oh, yeah. Jenny Ortega, she really manifests that... But she she said she there's times she's on okay. camera. Oh, I know. We get on topic again. No, no, no. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with Marvel. My biggest problem mm. is Luis Guizman's portrayal of um, um, or, um Gomez. Uh, Gomez. Not as an actor. I love him as an actor. Right. I love time. how he looks. Which, which as is, Gomez, because he looks more comic accurate. Accurate, right? But he's he not. Sound. He's not romantic enough towards Morticia. Well, to be fair, they're not really in the. Uh, I mean, I guess they. I just say, well, they don't have that much Dude, screen time. Dude, any any time they're together in, like in any second. movie, in any movie, even the animated stuff, they were. even the anime stuff, they are right. practically all over each other, and in this one. He just he he'd kind of make little comments to her and then would sit sit back. I mean he'd stare at her, but he won't do the <laughs> all but, down the arm. Right, <laughs> like there's a, there's a certain expectation I have for Gomez as a character in general. Right, and some of that could be due to Raul Giuliano's portrayal. Killed that of role, it. and as I said, you can't you can't really compare that because nobody. It's like with Robin Williams, nobody can be a character like that. Like that's just right. him. That's just them. But um, for the most part, I did like the movie. I, I, I did like him, like I said, as the character, just not with his portrayal with her. Catherine okay, Jones killed that role too, for that matter. Uh, she did. Um, I also had some minor complaints. I, I don't. Even if it's just a hint of it, mm-hmm. I don't like them showing any emotion out of Wednesday. I don't think she had too much emotion when she, I watched the whole thing. She cared enough in one scene about her brother to make him feel better, and it made me mad. Because oh, yeah. she has only ever tried to kill this boy. Every in every chance. movie, in every show, yep. in every cartoon. Yep. Her whole goal in life is to kill her brother. Not even out of hatred. She doesn't hate her brother. That's no. just who she is. And I think that's probably why, because they they and she well she even said it. I'm the only one that gets to torture my brother. And uh, and I said, oh shit. They said that she took a lot of training because she had scenes that she was in. She was not supposed to blink as much. She's supposed to keep that dead stare look. And I'm like, you gotta uh, blink. She also did a lot of training to be able to play the cello like she did, too. That's her actually playing. Well, okay, I was wondering. Okay, okay, okay. So that was her playing. So anyways, back to Marvel. Right. Um, with that being said, Ralphus, I will lead off with this one. Yeah. I am not going to rank it as low as you think I'm going to. It is going to be low. I know it's going to be low, though. Uh, but not as low as you might think it is. I'm going to give it a four. Because... Well, I was going to say like a, like a five. Okay, four. Okay. Me, okay, I'll give it about... I'll give it a six this time. I'll give it a six. Um, which averages it out to a five. Because it's it's unnecessary, but I I can see it like I can see where Chris Pratt's Chris Pratt's well, trying to sell it because he knows these kids are gonna that's not even milk that. this shit. Here's another problem I have with this, and even in comparison, do not get me wrong, there is some huge biasness from me oh, towards fine. Werewolf by Night. Yeah, well, it's a it. much darker story. 
but here's the difference in tone for their seasonal stuff. Okay. okay. We'll try to do this next year. Werewolf by Night is going to play a huge role in the MCU and in other areas where Blade and them are going to be. This was just this literally that. did nothing yeah, it, except for establish and that's what got pissed them me off. as brother and sister right and tree makes a and Groot makes a wonderful Christmas tree that he drops all that he shit. drops everything because he's a jerk and then Rocket's like now we go do our own little spinoff I said I would like to see that but not without that I need that Groot to like blow I, up I need or dude bro Groot to go away yo I, that's my prediction hey and this new Guardians can just give all right let's get baby Groot man like let's we've get, already had baby Groot let's get more baby Groot motherfucker oh you want dude bro Groot to die again. And rebirth himself. Yep. Yep. That's evil. I like Ralph. <laughs> just, just, I need, mean, and then, and we watched the trailer, they even say, I am Groot. I said, oh, so Grogu's gonna die? Yes! This is what we, this is what we wanted. So, <laughs> this is what we wanted, bro. You, get, you gave it a six, right? Yeah, I gave it a six. So it averages out to a five, which is funny. That puts it at C. Yep. With Venom Let There Be Carnage. Yep. And the Simpsons special. It was all of three minutes long. I just... It's at least better than that. I'll give it that. But here's the thing, though. Gar- this thing didn't push any narrative. I mean, it it didn't really do anything. It didn't do anything. It was just at least Christmas. at least with it the was, web war, but now you know where that's kind of going with other shit. It was just was a nothing. it was just a Christmas movie with Marvel paint. That's all it was. That's it. And that's my problem with it. And Kevin my Bacon. biggest problem. I think I just introduced Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon's fantastic. I like I said that like I'm trying to think has he ever been in a movie where he just plays himself? No. Nah. And that's why I said do so like. It threw me off because I look at that and say, oh, you're right, he's always playing it. Well, he said he's playing a character. I think this is his first time ever introducing himself. I'm like, oh, okay. I, yeah, I think we all know who the fuck Kevin Bacon right. is. Are you ready? I still haven't opened it. I'm looking at it. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's on Disney+. Plus. I do see the Disney+. Plus symbol. Are you ready for what our next... I think I just noticed what it is, and I'm excited. Mm. I think I saw some letters. Let's see if I'm right. Mm. Are you ready for what our next week's topic is sure let's do it man it is not what i thought it is you're gonna be thrilled it's another fucking spider-man in it it is a tv show Uh that only has one season live action the first two episodes premiered in theaters hold up what no what this two theaters What's the beginning with? Oh, we're, we're, hey, let's go. Came out in 2017. One of the main characters in this movie just died in Multiverse of Madness. Uh, oh, oh, shit. The fucking. Um, Ladies and gentlemen. The, I thought that uh, the, the Inhumans. Season one. Season one. Is what I drew. Oh, God. I'm okay with it. I seen two episodes and I was cool. Then they cut that bitch's hair off. I was done. I said, How you gonna get the. I think I probably would be more pissed off with the, the fact that they just said, Hey, we got no more budget for this woman. <laughs> so here's hair. the thing. I can already tell you now going into this. I like this show a lot more than what most people do. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and pretend and say it's great. Right. I don't love it. But I do enjoy it. I like the story for what it is. I think they fucked over Medusa. Right. But also... And that's what kind of really ruined it for me. I also want you to understand, though, even with them fucking over Medusa, I am not super familiar with the Inhumans comics. So this is one of those things that, again, I went into and watched without knowing much about the Inhumans other than what has been shown in ABC's uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. Because they were eventually going to do a crossover. Well, yeah. They was, that was our goal. That was going to do all of it before MCU got po- too popular. Well, before this got canceled. People didn't that like too. Maxim- um, Maximus was cold. He was good. The guy that plays Maximus is really good. The guy that plays Black Bolt is really good. I mean, that's, that's why, Well, that's why they brought his ass back. Right. <laughs> Um, honestly, I liked the chick that they got to play Medusa. I don't blame her situation on her as an actress. No, that's what I said. If anything, it's, it's the behind the scenes. Because they were like, well, we, we couldn't have the budget for it. We're like, what? To keep Medusa's hair looking like that? that? And in fact, that was the most badass well, part about it. The reason being, though, you got to remember, this was made by ABC. Mm. The, it wasn't Disney. Disney yeah. wasn't fronting the money oh for Oh, my these. God. And Disney... Oh, huh, that's why we. That's why he keeps... At, I think you just said it. Like, I want to get a reboot of this shit because Disney... Disney will show here's, you what Inhumans will look here's, like. Here's my problem. I want the Inhumans in the MCU so bad at this point. The dude that plays Black Bolt is getting too old for that role. 
He was looking rough. Yeah, Roman Free when you first see him in 2017, he actually looks not bad, but yeah, he's starting to but this age was out of that role real quickly. Five years ago? Yeah. Six years ago? Five I mean, he still might be able to do it for a few years. If he wants to. Probably about two, I'd say three, what, two? I don't know. Uh, he, they also might have made him, by the way, look rough in the movie. Well, because that's it. supposed to be Earth Because it's a different something, Earth. And 3, one, three something. But no, I would, and I would still love these actors to come back. Because I'm telling you now, there's some characters in this in this specific series that I think are fantastic. Um, um The dude who can the dude that, mimic the karate. The, the, mi- the, the mimicking dude, I can't remember any of their names for whatever reason. No, for, for life. Uh, it, what's the dude's name? Goal... Uh, what's the, the the dude with the horse the horse hooves the when he stomps and it cracks the ground and shit? No, I can't remember what his fucking name is off the top of watch, my head. Watch it. Hey, we're gonna. Hey, well, I guess we're gonna know today when we start looking at this uh, shit. Fun fact: In humans first premiered in the Marvel universe in comics in um, early Fantastic Four. What? And you said two episodes were in theaters. Yeah, so they premiered the first two episodes. I, I actually had free tickets to go see the, the first two episodes of this in theater. No, oh. I did not go. Oh, okay. Not because I didn't want to. I just had no one to go with. I wasn't going to do it by myself. Damn. Shouldn't know me. Um, no, we wouldn't have saw that shit. But ABC premiered the first two episodes in theaters across the nation. Um, and then obviously they started uh, they started playing everything on ABC like they normally would. Um, I think it was announced that it was going to be the only season of the show midway through the season so they weren't getting any any viewership on and it. And it's so sad people, because... People were basically were boycotting it because of... Her getting her haircut. That was like the number one reason why people stopped watching it. They didn't even give the actual story that I mean, was being I, I told I watched a the rest of it, but I was kind of... I've... I, fuck. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I was one of the people that was like, Bitch, what? <laughs> but I, I, wa- even, I watched the whole thing, though. I don't even remember how many episodes is in this mother. I thought it was eight. I think it might have been eight. Yeah, they, they just weren't... Really, they just weren't getting traction from it. It's sad, but... Eight episodes. Okay. So we can do this in two weeks. Four episodes one week, right. four episodes the next week. We'll go right to it. Right. Wait, how long are the episodes? 30 minutes. We'll do this for four weeks. Okay. Well, they're, oh, they're, oh, that's right. They're hour. They're basically an hour long. Yeah, they're hour long. Um, it's kind of sad, though, because Inhumans, now that I've rewatched a few times, it, it I can see why people hate it, but it was not a bad story. Um... Good news is it's on Disney Plus for anybody that wants to watch it. I'm trying to find what the dude's name was that I can't remember his fucking name. I remember Maximus because he's the Gorgon. Gorgon is the guy. Gorgon. Um, Karnak is the one that can do the yeah. Car- there stuff. it is, Karnak. Um, and then there's also a fish guy that I can't remember what his name is. And of course, Lockjaw the dog. Which no, he wasn't in there. Was he? Okay, Lockjaw was in it. Crystal was in it. Crystal, she's the one that can do. Can she do lightning? She had uh, in this series, they didn't really know what her powers were. Okay, right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Crystal's the sister of Black Bolt, I think. Right. It's either Black Bolt or Medusa. I think it's Black Bolt. But and it was just, it's okay. It was... I think I think it's a, like I said. I think it's a much better show than what most people do. Again, I don't think it's great. It is better than She Hulk overall. Yeah. But <laughs> right overall, no, that and it was. It's, I, and another problem I think in humans had, and we'll talk more about this obviously as we as we go through and watch the show. This came out at a bad time, and the reason I say that was, at the time, this came out. Agent of Shield was firing on all cylinders, and was a Even Agent Carter was was a fantastic firing. Show. Agent Carter was a fantastic was right show. Um, Do they have any other? The MCU was doing some amazing things in 2017. Um, what was that for 2017? Is that what? no? Because Guardians Guys came out 2014. Um, uh, 2017 was that was Civil War came out. Uh, motherfucker, scroll. Uh oh, those are the 20. Okay, 2017 was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Okay, New- Spider Man Homecoming. Right. Thor Ragnarok. Woo! Right, they were those just, were the three movies that they came were out just in hitting all cylinders. Um, and very early 2018, following up Th- Thor Ragnarok was Black Panther. So I mean, they were yeah, doing they, the damn thing. They were, yeah. And that was also just coming off of the heels of uh, Civil War and Doctor Strange in 2016. Right. So I mean, 
I feel so sorry because because the humans just fell behind. Fell behind the one that fell on the, the wayside. They were like, eh. And plus, I'm pretty sure that was also the time DC was just getting really starting to get popular with Arrow. Right, because they were getting their shit going. With right, the Flash, and they even were starting to say, well, we can make our own DCEU. Right, and that's when they were starting to get what their shit was going with so, uh, Bad Baby. That's so when Super also, got dropped that time too. So I also think Inhumans was just a victim of everything else's success. Yeah, because when it, because really everybody was getting high hopes when they first saw. Well, the first two episodes were cold, but then they got to that well, third one. I said, "Well, shit, there you go." Not only were the first two episodes cold and really good, right, no, right, solid. We got an example of what the show could have been if they would have kept. A budget solid enough for the entire thing, and because it wasn't just Medusa's hair; it was a lot the, of shit, man. Well, a big problem with Medusa losing her hair is that also means she loses her powers. Right. So she becomes almost pointless yeah. as a character. She becomes pointless, and that's irritating. And yeah. So as I said, I kind of see where the viewer was coming. Like you said, they didn't get a story chance because once you cut the hair, and, and the whole story is based around her losing her hair too. Right. So like. Was, That's yeah. already going to be a story a lot of people aren't going to be feeling, especially if they're Inhuman fans right. of the comics, comics and everything, and history. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm excited that we're going to be diving into this. And again, the good news it's is like to a, like a therapy session. Well, the good news <laughs> is too, there's only one season of it. It's not <laughs> like we're going to watch this and then throw another one back in the box because there's another one to follow it. Right? Because it never. This is one of the few shows that only had one season. It's the show that could have been. It's the what if. How about that? Now, it's the what if what world. I, I didn't see what the when it was closed and mm-hmm. when I was waving it around telling you thought it right was before we first. did it. And I looked over. I had just barely seen the Disney symbol, the Disney Plus symbol. I think it was this side. Mm-hmm. I had just seen the Disney Plus symbol. I didn't see the picture, which if I had seen that picture, I'd have known. I saw an eye. Right. And I, th- I actually thought it was Infinity War at first. I got excited. I was like, oh, we're going to actually do Infinity War, which is my favorite Marvel movie. For real. Yeah, like, um, but it, probably, and I still take his hot take better than Endgame, but that's besides the point. Uh-huh. Yeah, I still say Infinity War is better than Endgame, but that's besides the point. Oh, I think Infinity War is better than Endgame. Oh, wow, I totally shot definitely get. <laughs> Not much better, because Endgame's really no, good. Endgame, no, Endgame is cool, but it's something about Infinity War, I can't put my fucking head on that bitch. The villain won, and nobody expected it to... Well, I mean, people expected it, but not to that extent. Bro, we lost Spider-Man and Black Panther. Bro, we lost Spider-Man. We lost spider and we just got that bitch back. <laughs> like, how we gonna... Hey, I didn't see it in theaters. You wanna go, Mr. Stark? Right. That too, and I said, hold on. We just got that bitch, and now you tell me he's gone? We just signed a $5 billion contract. And you made it tell me. I'm going to go up like, whoa, no, we're not. We better Uno reverse. Uno reverse. Out, of, out of everybody getting dusted, he comes back from the grave. But, yeah. But, yeah, so that's what we're watching, Inhumans. Um, a little side note, and I know we've been running a little bit longer than normal. Um, let me go ahead and switch back to our main screen. Damn, this has already ran an hour and two minutes. It's been a while since we have one of these ones. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have no one them in a minute. Um, for those of you that have not played it yet, what little bit of Marvel's Midnight Suns I have played is fan fucking tastic. Mm, yeah, okay. I have thoroughly enjoyed what I've gotten to play of mm. Midnight Suns. It's been really good. I was um, like, yeah, how how you feel? Because we really some of the them. voice acting is off for me. Uh, I do not like Doctor Strange's voice in this. I do not like it at all. Tony Stark's I'm warming up to. Okay, what about, I was say, what the ones that are hitting? Like Blades is okay. Okay. Um, the Keeper, or is that what her name? The Guardian? I don't remember what her actual name is. Um, Sarah is her actual name. Um, What's it? Isn't Moon Knight part of that group? I don't think I don't know if he's in this game or not. Okay. Um, some other good voice acting. Blades okay. Um, I feel like whoever it is that's playing Blade is trying too hard to sound like Wesley Snipes. Which I wish people could stop doing that because you should just have your own character, right? You could more Ultimate Alliance that like they had a Blade character that just was his own character, but here it's like I gotta sound like him. Like you don't have to sound yeah. like cause that's not what Marshall Ali's gonna do. Marshall Ali's gonna sound like Marshall Ali. He ain't gonna sound like fucking Wesley Snipes. Whoever's playing Peter is doing a pretty good job. Okay, for what little bit he's been in it so far. Um, the lady that plays Wanda is okay. Um. <laughs> there are some things going on in the story that I'm interested in. There's been mention of Agatha, but she hasn't shown up. 
No shit. So I'm wondering how she's involved. Lilith is apparently teaming up with, uh, which Lilith is one of the like main demon people in the uh, Marvel universe. Um, she's apparently teaming up with Hydra. Uh, the lady oh, they got to voice Captain Marvel has done a pretty decent job. Um, <laughs> Gotta be the heroic righteousness on that one. I love, love whoever it is they got to voice um, uh, Johnny Blaze. Really? Now, he has not been Ghost Rider in it yet. The one, Johnny Blaze himself has only showed up once, and it's at the very beginning, opening intro, where he's talking with uh, um, Iron Man and Doctor Strange about something before he leaves. Um, Robbie Reyes is in it. He's the, basically the Ghost Rider of the Midnight Suns. So we got two Ghost Riders up in that bitch? Oh, wow. But he's the only one that's actually been Ghost Rider. Right. Like I said, Johnny, Johnny Blaze has disappeared. Yeah, we don't know what he's doing at this point. Wow. But I'm only like an hour and a half into the game, so I haven't played it a whole lot. But that's interesting, though. They, they said, well, look, look, look how Robbie Reyes doing it. Johnny Blaze is there for, like, background. Well, okay. the Midnight Suns in this game were younger people. Okay. It's, oh, it's not a group. The only the oldest person in the Midnight Suns, which, to be fair, he's hundreds of years old, is Blade. But he's, like, 20. He, he's in his 20s in terms of the way his body is. Right? Right. Um, he's also a vampire. But, like, of course. everybody else that's on the team are teenagers. Robbie Reyes is, is pretty much a late teenager. Right. Like, like 18, 19, 19 20. years old. Right. Magic, who's an X-Man, but right. she's only 17, 18 years old. <laughs> magic. Nice. Um, I don't remember what the chick's name is that has the wand and uses magic powers, but she's also very young. Um, and I don't remember who the other character is that's technically starting on the Midnight Suns. Uh, fuck, I should. And if I see him, I could probably give you his name. But for some reason, I can't remember. Um, I do know, eventually, like I said, uh, none of them are actually in my squad yet. The only people in my squad are the created character that they make you make as you. as you, mm. And you have to be that character. Um, Carol, Blade, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange. Mm. Those are the only people I am right now. I do know there's going to be... Uh, not only am I, do I already have the DLC pre-purchased basically so I'll be getting that when it comes out I do know I'm also going to be getting some version of the Hulk I don't know if it's Hulkling I don't know if it's Hulk Hulk I don't know it's not Maestro but Maestro is one of the costumes I already have for whenever I unlock the Hulk right it's not Smart Hulk or it's probably going to be Hulkling would be my guess okay because like I said they're running with more traditional newer characters I won't say traditional more newer characters um there are obviously some older older returning ones. At some point, Spider-Man joins my team, and it is Peter Parker. At some point, Wolverine joins my team. Um, okay. At some point, Captain America joins my team. Huh. Uh, some of the DLC that I already know that I have, that I'm getting, uh, the only one that I know for sure right off the top of my head, uh, oh yeah, wa uh, Scarlet Witch will eventually join my team. Hmm. Um, That's pretty cool. The only, the only character I remember that I eventually will get as DLC is Venom, and I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, the Venom in this game looks really cool in terms of the evil side of Venom that I've already fought. He's got, like, horns and shit on his mask. It's actually really dope. Huh. I've never seen Venom with horns before. That's pretty badass. Um, huh. But, yeah, it's a different kind of game. It's not right. like an action game where you're running around punching and stuff like that. When you get into a fight, all your characters are standard. It's like a traditional RPG, except you pick a card. And your card enables whichever card you pick. It might be somebody slashes for five damage or somebody punches. for. But like you could actually punch people into other people. You could punch people into surrounding items. So like you could punch somebody into an exploding barrel. They'll run, the barrel explode, and maybe explode over two or three other people that are around the barrel or whatever. So it's... It's, it's considered, it's called a tactical RPG. I've never played a tactical RPG before, which is going to make a lot of RPG fans mad. Because there are people that have talked about um, uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles as a tactical RPG. Um, Ogre Battle is a tactical oh, right. RPG. Uh, I think technically the stupid Fire Emblem games are tactical RPGs. <laughs> yeah. um, I only like Fire Emblem Warriors, which is more of a warrior style game than it is an actual RPG. Yeah, he won't play Radiant Dawn or none of that crap. Yeah, no. no. 
Um, <laughs> he said, like, you got to move this person that way. So, Talk to that person. So it's different, and it makes me have to think about different ways that I'm going to be fighting, which is cool. I do enjoy that. And it's apparently like a 70-hour game, so I've got a long <laughs> way to go. 70 hours? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a long game. That's fucking... Wow, that's a long-ass game. Holy shit. I'm playing this probably until Harry Potter comes out. When, I don't love them with that bitch. It's February. February or March. They said that's going to be a good game, too. I'm going to play it and get canceled. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm excited for the game. And he said but you gotta rem- such but ease out this bitch. <laughs> because here's the thing. I'm not going to let political issues dictate what I'm going to enjoy in my life. Okay? You've got... I get it. J.K. Rowling, to so many people, is a disappointment and a piece of, piece of shit as a human being. Right. But I'm not going to let that take away my enjoyment of what I do like about Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter still going to be... It's, it was my childhood. I'm sorry. What? No. Yeah. Why would I ever... They're like that. What about the villain in the latest book? I don't give a fuck about that villain. I'm, I'm, I, I don't, don't know care. nothing about Fantastic Beasts anyway. It's like that movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I wish Johnny Depp stayed in there, by the way. But that's not the point. But no. So, again... I'm going to I'm gonna play it. I'm going to stream it. People can come bitch and moan. I don't fucking care. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I just like how you said, I'm going to play it. I'm going to cancel. Wait, whoa, whoa. What, how, what happened? Like, <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, it is shit. Is. Did you hear about the uh, the God of War? That they said that PETA's getting involved because... Oh, PETA wants a version of God of War. Or yeah. A version of God of War put out where you're not killing animals. So, basically, there's no killing because humans are animals. Right. Because the Goblins minotaurs, are animals. Minotaurs yeah. are animals. They didn't like the fact that when you the wolf situation because when you throw the thing that you basically you you basically chop you well uh, snap his neck. And oh no, they, you're not even talking about the wolf. The wolf characters you grab by the bottom of the jaw and you. Oh, rip the, it the off. mini ones where you just whip off. Yeah, I was talking about the main boss, but yeah, the main ones where you're, you just you're, rip all the You're off. talking about the giant iguana creatures. Yep. Um, well, they didn't like that either. There's griffins that you fight that you to grab, you take down, and then you snap its neck. And then there's iguana creatures, giant iguana creatures, that in order to kill them, um, you basically grab them, or or you stab them with the knife in its neck and the top of its head to close its mouth, and then whoever your secondary character is comes through and shoots arrows down its neck, and then you go through and take your knives and stab those areas, which causes them to explode. It's, it's, It's vicious, and I love it. No, I was talking about the big giant wolf that Finn, that uh, Atreus put in the Finn, uh, the the soul of Finn were in there. I said, oh my god. Oh yeah. Because at first it was this animal. rabbit thing, but see. But why would you get mad about that? You don't kill it. He becomes your pet. But see, but uh, but I only they like the fact that his head got snapped. That when he was that 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 evil wolf thing. Get over it. He's like, it's like push thing. <laughs> Yeah, I was shocked because a friend told me, I said... I read that on Twitter today. I was like, yeah. I was happen. like, PETA, really? They're getting involved. But because it, then it's not God of War. It's not God of War. Like, that's it. Once you do that, that's it. Like, that's that's just h- hanky-panky. That's... <laughs> what the fuck that's, are you talking about? Like, no, I'm saying, like, like you said, like, I'm saying, like, if you just get rid of all killing of animals, oh. which, then that that's not God of War. It's just a rated G movie. Yeah. It's, um... Damn, I found... You know what? You guys go play your Hello Kitty Island adventure. That's what I said, or Sesame Street. That's... that's I found better deaths in, in Disney. They were killing all kind of animals in that bitch. Anyway. <laughs> Bambi got shot. Run, Bambi! Run, Or Bambi. Bambi's mom, not Bambi. And of course, Bambi's Mufasa mom. got thrown by a herd of fucking antelope. Was it antelopes out there? I don't know, but you gotta remember, that wasn't done by a human being. That was done by another lion who was... Uh, whatever. Okay. Animal on animal violence is okay. Guess what? We're animals. <laughs> I'll Humans just, are animals. I will say uh, Tarzan when he shot that big gorilla. Anyway, you always play racism on that one. <laughs> Anyways, in humans, we're gonna be talking about the first two episodes next week. That's gonna be December. December is in humans, in humans month. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do what? Four weeks. As a matter of fact, we don't get another thing from the MCU until March, I think. I'm or is it February? February. Is February when Secret War starts? No. I... I was gonna say Ant Man. Was that Ant Man? Yeah, Ant Man. I was like, when the hell? Is We're going to theater to see that. Are you going to see the theater? Yeah. I didn't think you wanted to see that in theater. No, I missed the first two in theater. I love the Ant Man movies. Yeah, yeah, no, those are at, at the Ant Man. Ant Man is one of those movies that is guilty pleasure. Crazy. When they first come out, I was like, who the fuck cares about Ant Man? Bro. And then I watched them. It blew my and mind. And I'm like, this is so good. And then two kind of just 
I love two as well. Took it to the next level. I'm I'm excited, and we're actually going to get Black Man in Elevator. I mean, Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, Black Man in Elevator. <laughs> I want if if you don't say that shit in that fucking theater, I swear I will. Why would I say you. that in the theater? I don't give a shit. I will say it with you. I'm gonna do this. I'm like, um, like why are you standing? I'm I don't care. It's a random thing to say in the theater. It made sense in how I used it in Loki. I don't care. I'd be like, he was in an elevator. <laughs> I'm, no, no, it would make no sense. What's a black? It was the guy in Loki. Black man in an elevator. I'm like, yeah, man, that's my. Um, friend. no, I'm excited for this movie. So, I'm just saying. He said, "Good, good job, Spider Man." He's like, "What?" <laughs> We call that damn Spider-Man. We call that Spider-Man. I'm done. Paul, Paul Rudd said, hey, I don't think, and Paul Rudd talks about it. He didn't think he was going to get any Marvel credentials or do this movie. They they almost passed his ass off, actually. Right. And Paul Rudd's actually, the better actor. He's a good, he's a decent actor, too. Yeah. He's old as shit, but he's an actor. All right, guys, that's going to do it. We love you all. We got Inhumans, season Inhumans, one, Inhumans, there's only one season. You don't even have to say season one at this point. Inhumans, that's the next thing we're covering. Uh, the live action in humans. <laughs> he said they ain't no sneak peek. They ain't no part three. That's not a prequel. <laughs> All right. We've already we've already covered the only other thing any of these guys show up in. Yeah. That's what how they mouth? Show, right. <laughs> um. Anyways, it's like the sad thing is we're gonna talk the first two episodes. And then here's where the sh- no. I'm just kidding. We're probably we're, we're, we're gonna talk about all that's going to be like. All right, so that's yeah, going to do it. We done. love you guys. We will see you guys next week. Excelsior. Excelsior. <laughs> Bye. Go watch Guards Galaxy Volume 3 trailer yeah. and the Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah. See you.